and interest rates might be higher than previously anticipated. That's what the Federal Reserve Chair told a group of senators this morning. Not good news for people wanting a break. This follows a series of economic indicators that show the economy is running hotter than expected despite recent actions from the Fed. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp joining us live tonight from the U.S. Capitol. Rachel, how does this impact people here locally in our communities? Good evening, Mike and Eva. So when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, essentially it slows down consumer spending. Uh, so really just kind of having an impact on big purchases as well as some local businesses. And the Federal Reserve Chair, uh, Jerome Powell, uh, he addressed a handful of senators on the banking committee this morning. He says the central bank is prepared to react to recent signs of economic strength by raising interest rates higher than previously anticipated. Powell says they will closely monitor economic data on this, which is also set to be released relatively soon. But explain that fighting inflation has been tough. Data shows inflation did calm down the past few months, but went up in January. Consumer spending and job growth also went up too. Powell says bringing inflation down will be a long and bumpy road. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate in order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. Last year, inflation rates were up higher than normal, so buying things like groceries and everyday purchases put a strain on people's wallets. To combat inflation, the Fed raised interest rates last year at the fastest pace in decades. However, increasing rates comes at a cost for everyday Americans and their businesses. When the Fed raises interest rates, it slows spending on big credit-based purchases like homes and cars and can discourage businesses from expanding on borrowed money. Now, in a report from the New York Times, data shows the job market has been very resilient to the Fed's moves, and we're seeing some of the lowest unemployment rate since the late 60s, as well as rapid hiring and pay gains. While the Federal Reserve is designed to be independent from politics, the White House says they won't comment on their policies, but they were asked about Powell's testimony on the Hill today. We're seeing inflation started to, to moderate. Uh, inflation has come down uh, than where it was almost a year ago. If you look at it uh, more globally and where you look where we were a year ago, we have seen uh, inflation moderate. And so, uh, and this is happening while the president has continued to grow the economy. The White House also says when the president releases his budget proposals in the next couple of days, there will be items that address the issue of inflation, but they didn't really go into too much detail as to what that looks like. And Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts really pressed uh, Powell on this, saying that the Fed's hiking up rates will uh, could potentially lead to a lot of job losses. But Powell is firing back, saying that they are taking only measures uh, that they have to bring inflation down. Mike, Eva, back to you.